G'day everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing the Pelican Flightline Series DJI Inspire 2 X7 case. I've been using Pelican cases for over 10 years now since I got into the film industry and their cases are just absolutely bulletproof. They really have been the industry standard since day one. Recently we've been traveling all over the world for various productions, Saudi Arabia, Norway, Patagonia, and I've always got Pelican cases loaded with gear, whether it's photography equipment or my Inspire 2. These cases handle what the baggage handlers throw at them and they are not very nice to them. So that's something you really wanna know when you're traveling. You have peace of mind that your equipment that is tens of thousands of dollars is gonna be safe on route. And I know that my gear is gonna get there safely when it's going in a Pelican case. Enough talking, let's open this case and have a look at some of the features. As you can see here, I've got a bit of wear and tear going on. This is gonna happen with cases over time as they travel with you. They're gonna get scuffs, they're gonna get marks, but the whole structure of this is still perfect and rock solid. Let's turn this around, but we have a retractable arm here. So this is really great when you're going to and from locations, airports, etc. That locks in, pull that back, snaps in, and that is good and doesn't come out. We've got one handle here, then we've got another handle on the other side. So when I've been out on locations, because it is quite heavy right now, I have my camera operator on this side and I'll be on this side and we go in friend and it's really easy to carry. So it's a great feature having two really big solid handles. And as you can see, you can fit two hands there. That's really, really good. So let's flip this around now and let's open it up. It has six latches and it's all watertight, water sealed. This thing, you could throw it off a boat and you're not gonna get any water inside, which is really, really good to know. Let's open it up. And as you can see, it's fully loaded with the Inspire 2 here. First thing you sort of notice is the red color. This is consistent across the Flightline series and so the Matrice case, it's got the red as well. I think it looks pretty cool off the black foam and case itself. Let's pull the Inspire 2 out this is the landing mode because it is a bigger case. I don't have the camera on mine while traveling. You could have your X5S or your X7 camera hanging below. I personally leave it in the box just to keep it safe. That's four or five grand there and I don't want any movement uh, in that whatsoever. While we're down here and I've got this out, we've got one of the charging hubs. No space is not utilized in this case. Next most important thing is the X7 camera. I always keep it in the case. What's beautiful about this case is not wasting any space. This is where the lenses are kept, four lenses. I've got the 50, the 35, the 24, and the 16 millimeter. And I also have a nine millimeter lower lens, which that, you know, I keep one lens on the X7. So five lenses in total you can fit. We've got our remote control and a nice snug fit. If you put your hand down here, we've got two of the monitor batteries. Everything's precisely cut and fits beautifully. Going to the crystal skies, we've got two crystal skies here. Obviously your iPads can fit in there as well. Got not one, but two chargers for the charging hubs. And we've got spots for one, two, three, four, five batteries, six if you include what's in the drone. When I'm traveling overseas, obviously you can't check the batteries underneath the plane. So any loose LiPo battery has to go on board with you. So over here, we've got another remote controller. As you can see, the section that is cut out is much bigger. So that's to accommodate the sentence controller. And under here, we have another charging hub. So that's two charging hubs in total, one under there and then one under there as well. The accessory slot up the back here, I always sort of just stuff random bits and pieces in here, which I use on set. Or lens blower, my Allen key set when I need to tighten up any bits and pieces like the propeller adapters, sometimes they get a little loose, so really handy. I got a torch in here and I got some other little bits and pieces, so that's a good little general accessories area. Here, this big long section in the side here is for the propellers. I also tend to stuff some other things in here that can't damage the propellers, like my Tiffin filters. They are always in there. I got my multi-tool, more tools if I need to tighten anything on the remote controller. And of course, 2020, gotta have hand sanitizer. 
So this is another great little section, even though it's for the, uh, for the propellers, I always stuff other bits and pieces in there, getting as much into this case as possible. And up front here, we have a charging hub for the Crystal Sky batteries or the Sendence remote battery. And last but not least, we have four cutouts here and they are for the SSDs. As you can see, I don't have mine in here. I have a special Pelican case for those because they're about $1,200 each. And when I'm out on set or if I'm out on location, we're out in the desert a lot here in um, California, dust, even when you open this just for a little bit, dust will blow in and I don't want to get any dust near those SSDs. So that is the Pelican Flightline Series Inspire 2 case. If you like us and have invested well over $10,000, $15,000 in this drone and all this equipment that's inside here, you really want to invest in a good quality Pelican case like this one. We're really loving our Flightline series and they've been helping us to create a new case, which I'm going to show you in the next video. So stay tuned for that one. Thank you for tuning into this video. Be sure to like it and give us a comment and subscribe to Drone Gear. We'll see you on the next one.